witch hoops. Okay, I'm going to use the Year of the Wear Tarot. And this is going to be for my singles. Now when I say single, this means you're single. This doesn't mean you're holding on to a thought or an idea or a person. This means I'm freaking single. Okay? I'm not talking, oh, well, there's a possibility. Or there's hope. Or you're still dreaming of this person. No, 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 no. This is like... I'm single. I'm ready. What's 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 going on? Okay. I almost didn't even want to say that because some of you might be work to be done or it might be your time. Okay. So thing is, you're still holding on. How can you be single and still holding on? See what I'm saying? This is why we're still single. And it's okay to be single, okay? It's it's where you find yourself. But this is um this is you not finding yourself, okay? This is you holding on to thoughts, memories, past trauma, something that no longer serves you. It's like you can't even see the good in something. So why why would these cups even be standing up? Because you can't even tame what went down in the past. You're like, but why? Why? Because you're still holding on to something that hurt you. Let it go, please. Let it go. Let it go. Let it be. Let it be. <sighs> Knight of Chalice is reversed. This is why no one's coming in. Because why would, and I don't mean to sound harsh, but why would anyone come in? Right now, you're not even willing to accept the cup. You're not even looking at the possibilities. It's like, I need it. It's, it's like a comfort thing for you. But you don't need. You're not in the stage of, I want yet. You're still in the stage of, I need it. Whether you see that clearly or not. And that's not going to get you too far. And I just looked down, it was two, two, two. There's no... There's no balance or harmony or peace within your own soul, within your own mind. You imagine someone coming in, but to a point where you even imagine, you're like, I'll just get hurt again anyway. What's the point? That's definitely, if you're not resonating, this is not your read. Because you're still holding on to pain. Nine of Pence, insecure. Not confident enough. Not standing strong in your morals, your beliefs. Letting people walk all over you. Letting people tell you how something should be. This is not being single when it's reversed, but obviously this video is for singles. So this would be lack of confidence, lack of finances, lack of self-harvest. You're not even feeling yourself. If you can't feel yourself, the wrong person, first of all, will come in. Okay. Because um, the Queen of Wands popped out, so... You imagine yourself. Look at this Queen of Wands. Nothing wrong with this Queen of Wands, especially if you're Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You know, but they're usually way more seductive looking. And she can be just as seductive. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. You know, but it's, it's like the point I'm trying to get at what they're trying to get me to say is it's, it's like lack of motivation. Do you feel good when you get dressed? Do you feel, are you doing your hair, makeup? You don't have to. I mean, I don't wear makeup like that. You know what I mean? I'm just saying like sometimes little stuff like that could perk you up. A new hair ribbon, put on a piece of jewelry you haven't worn in a while. I would suggest cleansing 
your house, your area, your jewelry. Maybe invest in a plant. Because it's almost like I used to be like this. This is not you saying I prefer to be single. I mean, it, it could be I don't want to be on the market. I want my options. But it didn't start off that way, so I can't read it that way. Okay. So, tell me about the Five of Cups. This is not for everybody who's single. What are the majority of people holding on to? You could be hang holding on to a kid's father. Just not feeling good. Some of you could actually have postpartum. But you're investing your time in negativity and in, in thoughts that are no good. You could be getting older and you really want a child because she's pregnant. You know, and you're like, why do I keep picking all this sour food up? <clears throat> it's not even you're picking it up. It is you got the pickings, but you're picking the wrong ones. It has a lot to do with your karma. Not seeing something. Some of you definitely got to get on a journey before something can even come at you. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. So you're investing your time right now. Okay. So you're manifesting something right now. But the Ace of Swords is reversed, so you, it, you're, you're sabotaging something. Because I'm telling you, if somebody was to come in, chances are they might not even be single. You might get the same exact person that you normally get. Why? Because there's nothing about you that's changed yet. Not on an emotional soul level. So whatever you're manifesting... Is not what you really want. Hope that makes sense. Tell me about the nine, nine of pence. So making a decision. Some of you could have got yourselves caught in a third party in the past. You enjoy people fighting over you, arguing over you. You could have lost them both. Um... Maybe you're the type where you you want someone to fight for you. It, it's like it reminds me of a movie, running down the street, crying, waiting for your prince to show up on a horse, grab you, kiss you, tell you they're sorry. That that's not, that's not gonna cut it. We, we don't live in fairy tales. You know what I'm saying? Like, universe is not gonna give you who you deserve. If that's the imagination. Because you don't need to be rescued. It's almost like a victim. Always playing victim. Or I do need to be rescued. Damsel in distress. No. The universe got bigger and better things for you. You gotta manifest differently. You gotta manifest for yourself. Not for somebody else to come in. Some of you are manifesting alcoholics, liars, cheaters. Jealous people. People that are insecure. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. So you need to start investing more time in yourself and less time investing on how stuff went down and why manifest manifestations and certain things aren't coming in. Okay. And if you're not dreaming of someone else or whatever the situation is, you're still thinking about the past pain. Yeah, it's it's emotional for you. Because you don't have wishes and desires, things that are coming in. You're not happy. You know, but all these thoughts need to end for you to see yourself in this situation again. You need a spiritual victory. So that means what this is telling me is that there's there's somebody just right for you. But this person that wants to come in, this new person right here, they can't come in yet. Because you're not 
you're not taking care of yourself yet the way you need to be taken care of on your own. You know yeah. what I mean? Looking at something in a very positive way. You need to manifest what you want in life. Not not a person, place, a thing. What makes you happy? It drives me nuts when people manifest other people. It just does. You gotta take care of yourself. <laughs> Look at Lucy coming into the picture for you. Okay? Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Give time to yourself. And then what the universe has in store is exactly who you need. So it might take a little time. But in the, I think in the meantime, you concentrate on you, your family, your work. It's, it's when you're not looking, when, you, when you're not manifesting, okay? When you're telling yourself you, it's more of a want than a need, you know? So, hope that helped you guys. <laughs> I love you so much. Bye. Maybe go, I, I, for me it'd be extremely hard, but I was going to say like a dog shelter or an animal shelter or something to get more in tune. You know, not that you need someone else to take care of, but a pet, um, they're incredible. It's unconditional love. Love you guys.